ora and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews and it's been another stunning day here and it looks to be a surely a lovely evening as well and I thought why not uh, this evening go for something a little bit different variety wise and something that I'm pretty excited about is a variety for New Zealand and particularly some obviously some wine growing regions over others um, purely because of their suitability for growing this type of wine but uh, I think it, it's something that um, the wine industry in general New Zealand is, is has got um, their, their feathers up, up, up about, I guess, and um, it's something that, a variety that has been largely underrated, I believe. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce this variety and also this particular wine, and um, it's from the Marlborough wine growing region, and it is, of course, a Riesling. So we have here an Alan Scott Marlborough Riesling 2009. Now a little bit of background for you about Alan Scott. Uh, and Alan Scott's again is um, an eponymous um, wine producing and a company, and it's also a family-owned business and family-operated business. So you've got Alan Scott and his wife Catherine, and they've been um, in the winemaking game for a long, long time since their sort of 70s and 80s, really. And they planted their their original Scott vineyard in 1975 in Marlborough, and since then they've expanded rapidly. Um, into other wine growing regions also, most notably Central Otago, just um, in the last few years. And they have their three children, Josh Scott, who uh, is a, a winemaker and makes the wine for Alan Scott, along with, along with Clayton Cornelius. And you've also got Victoria Scott, who is uh, heads up the marketing of Alan Scott Wines. And you've also got uh, Sarah, and she is... Um, managing last I heard uh, the Central Otago endeavour and, and the viticultural uh, line of things. So that's pretty exciting and it's neat to see such a, such a, a, such a successful wine growing a wine label and um, a really uh, geared up toward the family side of things. So that's really nice. So I think we'll get stuck into this tasting and have a look at what this Alan Scott Riesling has in store. But pouring it out there, got a nice pale lemon colour with a little sort of tinge of green, quite nice as you can see, lovely clarity, very beautifully clear on the nose, mmm, really quite interesting nose, we get some lovely limey, limey citrus characters hit straight up front there, and of course your, your wonderful uh, Riesling minerality as well, like your, your, your wet river stones that you sort of bashing together to get that nice flinty um, sort of mineral characteristic and that certainly shows through. Also get some nice sort of honey notes in there as well, a little bit of honey and also some sort of uh, not quite ripe pineapple as well. Some just love, nice citrus tropical and uh, mineral characters on that nose, really nice, beautiful nose. Now the palette, those tropical fruit characters really come through, as well as that citrus, you've got this nice lush acidity, this really quite crisp and bright acidity, and that's sort of matched and, and counterbalanced by some nice natural fruit sweetness, so I would imagine that the Riesling, right, this Riesling would have been picked at quite a high Brix level, and that naturally has all those, that lovely fruit sweetness, that fruit ripeness that's in there, um, and uh, that counterbalances the naturally high acidity of the Riesling, great. So that's great. There's a little bit of residual sugar there, but that's just that's um, wholeheartedly um, adding to the the overall harmony of the wine. So yeah, I think that's there's it's a really lovely, easy drinking Riesling style uh, from Alan Scott Wine Makers, and uh, that retails for around the seventeen dollar mark. So you're you're looking at a really nice price point. And 13% alcohol, so it's perfect for sort of a, a picnic lunch or you know something that you want to take into dinner. A nice aperitif, perfectly matched with something like um you know some nice seafood. I'm actually going to think about mm, some nice smoked a nice smoked salmon salad for dinner this evening. So a, a nice sort of accompaniment to that um, the rich, richness, richness of the salmon. So that's really good. Um, I am going to give that one a rating of 89. So there we are, that's the Alan Scott Marlborough Reasoning 2009. And um, I hope you enjoy your evening. Thanks for watching Lady Parker Wine Reviews. I'll see you next time.